There's a numerical system we talk about for Machia, but actually it's Zion that I'm bringing to you today. Now Zion, we end up seeing this throughout all of the scriptures. Power of Zion. Zion is actually the numerical number for seven. So when you see the repeated, for instance, on the triple sevens, how it was that there's also a special uh, numerical system in the Jubilee is. How we end up having the Sabbath set forth to the seven and the seven times seven years. And how it was that even in the forgiveness, he says, how many times shall I forgive a person? Seven times? No, seven times seven. Seven times seven. That is actually a spiritual allusion unto the word Zion. What we end up seeing is that there is that numerical system that is set within it. Interestingly enough, if we look towards what we end up seeing, the mark of the beast in Revelations of John, where it has the three sixes, that is the vibe. It is so interesting when I hear it within the spirit because rarely will I hear someone say, Zion, Zion, Zion. But how many times have I heard someone stutter with an up to throw in that six? Actually, you end up seeing a mark within that within creation. But if I look towards Zion, there is a new ability that I end up having to connect with. And what I end up seeing is actually it's with Christ. There is a spiritual connection with every thought and every perception. If I end up having a ability to look towards everything and make a positive connection within my mind, it changes the way that I see everything. If I look at a seven and it reminds me of the Sabbath, for instance, if I look towards the cherubim, it is more than gematria, it is more than looking towards a numerical system, but it is then reminding me of the Lord of hosts. If I end up hearing Someone running through that stutter and I'm reminded of the negative portion of the adversary. Why, it is the same as an interjection within the spirit. But how often do I put an interjection to praise God? Can I throw in a Zion? Can I think every time that I end up seeing the number seven, that it remind me of God, that it remind me of Jesus? Now that is the message that I want to give you. I want you to have a new connection with that. Now you look towards it and you can go through all of it. I was looking at the number one. Shema Yisrael, Yachavai Yachalok, and Yachavai Echad. The Lord our God is one. For instance, simply looking at that number and being able to have a connection with a prayer that is that powerful is looking towards God. If I end up seeing a number and I understand that that is adding unto something, if I look towards two and I understand that that is the word that we end up seeing, Beth was also from Bethlehem, well, I can end up taking that house of David. I can take that house of bread as it was and understand that that makes a new spiritual connection. And we can run it through all of them. Give them, da, pe, ba, zaya, hit, tet, yo, all the way through time. And what we end up seeing is that there is a new connection that we have within a numerical sense that connects us with the word of God. Now, the idea here when we talk about Zion is not only to understand the gematria of it, but furthermore to make a positive connection within your mind within all of the scriptures. Everything that you see within creation, everything around you, you have to connect it with something positive. There is a duality in life, and when you see something, you are either going to be reminded of something negative or something positive. And the more of those positive connections that we end up having, it allows for us to make a neural connection with something positive within this world, so that through positive association, we can then therefore go forth from this world motivated and inspired into greatness. We look towards something as simple as a number. It could be the number seven. But when you connect that with Zion, when you connect that number with Jesus Christ, when you connect it with God, then it becomes powerful. And we look towards it, and it is not to simply look at a number. It's not to look at Jamatra. It's to have everything that you look at, look at God. We end up seeing the living God, the creator, Christ Jesus, and everything around us. We make more and more of these positive connections so that when I end up seeing something that reminds me of the world, I ask myself, what can I use as a way to make that remind me of God? How can I use it to give a dedication unto the Lord to honor with my heart in this moment? What's going through the prayer system, the thought patterns that I have in my mind? And when I put God there, you have a key. And that's the idea. Take everything and connect it with Christ Jesus. Look towards God in everything that you do. Meditate in his name and in his word day and night. And you will understand 
the blessing of the living God, and the prosperity that cometh forth from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.